So section 59, verse 7, and Thou shalt thank the Lord thy God in all things. Now, it's easy enough for us, I think, to, to thank the Lord for all of our blessings, but he's not talking about just blessings. He's saying all things. So the question I have for you is, has it ever been difficult for you to express gratitude for what was happening in your life? And if so, how did you overcome that challenge? Well, honestly, one of the hardest things to you know, thank God for is having problems or trials or you know, whenever those things happen, you just look at it and go, ah, well, why, why did that happen? When really, like, it's important to think of it and realize that all of it is meant to build us in one way or another to mm -hmm. help us learn or grow as a person. Yeah. So have you found that it's, I mean, all of us, I feel like, can express gratitude verbally, but have you found that there's something helpful to help you cultivate the feeling of gratefulness? So one thing that helped me a lot is I got divorced very young and I had two children and I remember at the time thinking it can't get any worse than this and it wasn't my fault and I felt like my whole world crumbled and I couldn't do anything about it and it took me about eight or nine years to get remarried and then I went through nursing school and I was a neonatal ICU nurse and only at the end did I look back and see where friends helped me or I learned something it gave me courage it gave me faith and I think going through such a horrible experience that took so much out of me at the time has given me an eternal perspective to where now I'm like, oh, I can handle anything because mm -hmm. look what I already did go through. Yeah. And it gave me a chance to rely on Heavenly Father in a way that in my best moments I wouldn't have noticed. It seems based on what you're saying that maybe this perspective and gratefulness came after the actual experiences. Mm -hmm. So maybe the lesson in there, as you were saying that, is just giving ourselves time, recognizing that, you know, my mother passes away, I don't have to say thank you right away or something like don't that. Don't sweat or, it. It's going to yeah, work out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Thank you for that. For me, it comes down to a question. And the question is, how do I utilize the virtue of gratitude to convert my grief or my loss into something meaningful? I would go back to being gentle with ourselves and let it happen in the time that it takes. 